Hello and welcome to the Sean Haggerty Show. This is a, a, do you know what? I should have said to you before, this is my Christmas special. Because this is coming out this week, so this will be the last podcast before Christmas. Before Christmas. So um, you're, you're very welcome. Thanks Thank you very much for out. having me. We have a, on the couch this week, David Doherty Jeb returns. I love DJ. That's my beauty queen. Is that how you World peace for Christmas. <laughs> With a tiara. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, can't, I keep it in the car. We do. Well, I mean, you, yeah, have yeah. To, you have to for yeah, you your sponsors every time. So if you oh, if you yeah. wear it without the paps sash. around about you, then you know you're mm. you forfeit your title. Do you get much money off them? No, you're paid in exclusively in milky bars. Oh, yeah. Um <laughs> milky bars and gap pills. So <laughs> 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 just a clear shade. You can have your chocolate, but you have to stay skinny. Here's some gap pills, fantastic. Speaking of staying skinny, we have chocolates here. I might just as the time Hotel goes Chocolat. on. Hotel chocolate. Let's have a wee look. Yeah, yes, I really like. You told me in, inside there that we've lost the instructions. The instructions, yes. <laughs> Emma Fred calls them the instructions. And I just think that's a Which is what they'll the, be called from now on. This is the instructions. Look, you get like a clock. Do you want to have a wee Christmas tree? Oh, you're choosing for me? Go and go. I'm going to go like chocolate. Go for it. I, I thought you might. I don't know. Yeah. Be dark chocolate. Now, is this just chocolate throughout, or am I going to get caramel down my beard? Hey, right. That's so fine. Right. Let's go. Oh, oh. Put the top up. Pure chocolate. Mm -hmm. Love it though. You have dark chocolate. I have dark chocolate. We got dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. it's just, just you know, it's good for you. It is practically salad. Dark chocolate. Salad. It's mostly salad because it's like it's not like you know it's healthy. <laughs> They're like, oh, dark chocolate's healthier than but like, I come on. Yeah. It's like brown bread's better than anything. Oh, yeah, ever so slightly. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you, are you a Christmas man? No. <laughs> are you not? No, I'm not a huge Christmas lover, but at all. Mm, I love Christmas Day. I love, so since uh, from my husband and I got engaged, we just don't leave the house over Christmas. He is big into Christmas. His mum was a big Christmas lover and he's a Christmas lover. I, yeah, I'm not. So it's like we're meeting in the middle a wee bit. But this year's actually, actually though, in saying that, this year's been really lovely. It's been really nice. I feel a wee bit more like, you know, we've decided, because the last couple of years have been a bit rubbish, eh, for mm. Christmas, because everything's been a wee bit. You're not allowed to see people and, mm. yeah. Well, this year we've got him. So, yeah, no, this year's been lovely. What about you? Oh, I fucking I live for it. I really? Do, do what I do. I pace myself throughout November because I know there's going to hit a point where I hear the first Christmas song mm. and I'll just fucking turn into the Incredible Hulk. But really, Christmas. What's your favourite Christmas song? All of them. I love them. Do you know, me and my kids were talking about this in the car the other day. We were listening to the Christmas uh, radio station. There's, uh -huh. down, there's downtown radio and then there's Magic as well on DMV. Mm -hmm. So, we were listening to radio. They're, Christmas music on the radio. And my son said to me, he was like, what's your top five Christmas songs? And it was... <laughs> what, age, what age is that song? Because <laughs> you know there's like ages, do you know there's like ages, like where it's like, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a complete 14 year old question. Yeah, 13. 13, do you know what I mean? That's like, that, that is like, what's your top five? What's your top yeah. five? What's your top five Marvel heroes? I know. Just speak like TikTok videos, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, geez, nobody wants to have conversations anymore. Just like, how was your day? Yeah. My dad, so what was your, to me. What's your top five breakfasts? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's 100%. That's how they talk all the time. Uh -huh. uh, do you know what song I love? Right. What do you call her? She was an American Idol. Oh, All Night the Christmas Tree, Cal Kai Clarkson. Yeah. Yeah, that probably sure. doesn't sound like it at all. No, um, I thought that was Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. You were doing her. This is, I was a whistle of the Mr. Dogs outside. So I'm there, <laughs> like, yeah. No, I. And listen, I don't care what anybody says. I know people hate this. I know like, people hate this. Come on. I will never stop loving All I Want for Christmas. I Mariah Carey. I you were going to say that. I, that's just always a bit homophobic there, Sean. No. <laughs> <laughs> you might have a judgment about me. Um, no, I finished taking a drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. No, I, I, I love it. But it makes me feel like, when did that come out? It, it was 93, 94, 93, 94. Yeah, definitely so, early 90s, wasn't it? Early 90s. So it brings me like, right back to that time, mm. you know, before I started, before I started like not liking Christmas. But like, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, I love it. I don't care. I'm, I'm out there. Mariah, if you're watching, you are my queen of Christmas. She will be watching. She will. She, she is. She watches every week. This, I've got a message from her. Uh, I've got like a special vibrate. It's like a, it just feels like a whistle tone yeah. of my of my leg. But yeah, you know I yeah, Christmas. Your vibrate's just <laughs> I just like, like oh yeah, I do apologize. I may listen for my voice. I have been squealing at um drunken white people um down the down the mic um at various gigs. So, That's a great title for a, a special. 
scream at a, scream at jumping white people. Yes. I did. I, I remember that one. I'm checking that now. I um, thought of a. You don't have your own podcast. Sure no. You don't yet. 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 I thought of a title for it. Go. The cut of your jab. <laughs> Show us your jabs. Show us your jabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get my brothers in. I'd tune in for that. Oh, your brothers? No, I probably wouldn't. No, 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 no. Uh, my middle brother's like funnier than me. Oh, he, right. is, he is genuinely funnier than me. <laughs> like I would say, our Peter is, uh, if you are watching Peter, I, by my hate to you being funnier. Now, me. do you mean funnier as <clears> in <throat> when you come across somebody on a night out? Yes. And they're like, you want to meet my mate? He's hilarious. And then but he, he tells comes over and he's just fucking, oh, oh no, he's no, just he, back from Turkey. Oh no, he tells a really, our Peter is a really good storyteller. Yeah. Like, he's very good and he does like all the way, he does, the action. He does all the action, the way faces and the voices. He's a brilliant storyteller. Like he's very, very, he takes him a wee while to warm up. I remember years ago, um, like, so my youngest brother had like, we were all, had a group of his friends and one of them was a makeup artist and he was doing this, like another fella's makeup, um, like sort of draggy makeup. And our Peter walks in and our Peter is not, do you know what I mean? He's the opposite of the little murderer. He does not want to be part of that world. Mm -hmm. um, so he was comes in and he looks at them, took a bit of stock, realised this was different for him, went outside, had a wee smoke, got his shit together, came in and was like, ah, uh, so like, uh, why are you not? Um, <laughs> so, and then that broke the ice and then everybody was listening to him telling stories oh, and he was bro oh, he was so funny I, yeah. our Peter came over to whenever I was living in Madrid our Peter, I was sharing a flat with a girl from Tennessee <laughs> feel free to cut this out completely because I find this hilarious <laughs> people may not find this funny so yes I am also like a native Lurgan person like yourself and our Peter came over um, my brother Peter came over and I was showing it it was Sherry from Tennessee and she was like so have you seen any good movies recently like anything you saw that you want to talk about and she was like, he was like I saw that film Saw recently I um, <laughs> and she goes I, I don't know what that's about what's that about and he went well right these two bays wake up on a cellar and one, two bays are like can't cuff tall radiators and one of the bays has to kill the other bays or this guy's going to come down and kill the two bays <laughs> and she could, I, could, I could hear her eyes going blink Blink. Just fucking question marks all around her head. Do you know what I mean? She she, I think she thought that she was having a stroke because like, yeah. language didn't make sense anymore <laughs> to her. Do you know what I mean? And it's just that he, yes, he's so like, accent, but he, yeah, our Peter's are brilliant. And, you know, and he, because he has the two kids, like he's all under Christmas. Like he does, the, he, has, he has two kids. I think if you do have... Yeah, if it's a different story when you have kids, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're forced to enjoy it more than anything. Obliged. And then eventually you brainwash yourself and you're just like, Oh, this is class. Bring it on, eh? I oh. love spending hundreds on everybody else. I love getting up at five o'clock in the morning because nobody wants to fucking go to sleep last yeah. night. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. My granny used to give us Cal Paul. Oh, really? On, New on Christmas Eve. <clears throat> uh -huh. I don't know how legal that is. Back in the day, it's I'm sure it was frowned upon, but... Not mm. illegal. Like you get still, you give kids grape water, which was like mostly, mm. was it like, was mostly gin. Or cocaine or something. I don't yeah. know. What we, don't, here we go. Cocaine. And, do you know what I mean? Cause you, there's a place in there's a place in Belfast, I think it's like on the Shankle that like does like does like secretly still makes this grape water, you mm -hmm. know, for kids that are teething. Mm -hmm. And like cause we'd like we'd have customers in my husband's cafe and he goes, I'm going up there. And I can't remember what the name. I can't. Sorry, either like I can't remember <laughs> the name of the place. For all you parents out there, are all going. What's They're probably it glad. Writing it down. You don't know the name of it because like you'd be out in them. Okay, but it'll be out mm. like, So I can't can't tell you for legal reasons. But yes, they make this. They make like like a batch of it, so they can give it to customers here, because like, it isn't like. They, they actually make it. They don't just stock do, it or get it in. Well, they must stock it. They must stock it from mm. whoever, like somewhere that makes it. But like I don't yeah. think it's strictly legal, legal anymore to give really? children. I remember when my daughter was the first couple of months of her being born because it's for like colic or something is it or what's it for wind or teething teething because it like numbs the wee gums that's why it didn't work on her <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay she could still cough can you not fart no yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> take us there you go I, 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 one for daddy too there we go that's <laughs> fine that's yeah. fine how old are we one now one and a half. One and a half. And you yeah. like she's all best for Christmas. Yeah, she's buzzing for it. She can't wait. <gasps> she can't it's wait. It's great because it's the first year. You, you always think you're talking three, four, five mm. before they fully get into it. But even though she doesn't know the exact day Santa's coming because she doesn't she doesn't get calendars and all that. It could be night. Is it night? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But she is aware that something's on the horizon mm. and she's going to get presents and stuff. She is going to get presents. She's buzzing. I, yeah, I think that's what it is because you don't like when you get to like 
you know, 35 to 40 to I'm now in my early mid 40s. Um, yeah. you know, <laughs> 42. Like, you, you, I just buy what I want. You yeah. know what I mean? You don't like, do you when you were it. young and you were like, oh, I want that in your mum or your dad or whoever would go, you know, I'll put that and you get that, put that in your put list for Christmas. Yeah. I mean, you get that, that'll be your big present. Did you have that? That'll be your big present. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Every time you bought something in the shop from mid-November onwards, your ma was all in that, your Christmas box. That's your Christmas box. That's what I was going to ask. Is that what Jesus year. would call it? Yeah. Is that a thing? <laughs> like, is that just a thing in this area? Because I think it is. Your Christmas box? Mm -hmm. Your Christmas box? Selling your Christmas box? Your Christmas box. Maybe tea coming up yeah. here. But um, it's a... Uh, it's a strange one because with me and Diona, we almost, we're like, should we just buy this for ourselves? Do you know, yes. we send each other a list, but it's a list of two things. Yeah. And we're, we're like, here, are they get like me those two. Your mad cool microphones oh, and a flat a, screen TV. Is have that a like mixer a, coming. Yeah. I have a mixer coming. And is that on your Diona like, list? I literally found it the other night and I sent it to Diona and I was like, <laughs> just get me this mixer. Just that, that'll be my big present. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much it. That could be my Christmas book. box. Yeah, that in a book. That in a way, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so we should Yeah. Uh, oh, no. What have you asked for? Um, well, we're, we go away because that's our present to each other. We go away. So like this year, like one year we went to New York and then one year we went to Lanzarote and this year we're going to go to Vienna um, just to get... Because I... Break? No, oh, city, I thought you said a ski break. No. City break, yes, a ski break. <laughs> in these heels, no. Um, I <laughs> that's the water freezes. And the, that's the water freezes. Yeah, just over the wee, over the wee thing. No, yeah, I'm just a wee city break. And I That'd just, it's Christmas day over. Because, mm. yeah, so that's how we kind of compromise. Like the whole, we'll go away somewhere and then neither of us are responsible. Yeah. For the Christmasiness. Do you know, yeah. we'll go somewhere that's like Christmas Eve already. But yeah. Day. When so, he's going away? Um, Christmas Eve. Really? Over mm. Christmas? Mm -hmm. Oh, I. Is it dear or cheaper? Mm, it's not. It's, it's just, just no different. Not much. Maybe a wee bit cheaper. Maybe right. a wee bit because it wasn't. Mm. It wasn't. It wasn't terrible. Mm. Put that way. It wasn't. I would actually imagine it would be dearer because you're expecting the staff to be on Christmas Day to wait for you and. Well, the. That kind of like stuff. the dinners and stuff are maybe a wee bit more expensive. You know, mm. booking your dinner out and stuff like because then it's like ourselves. They just close. Yeah. Do you know I was feel bad. <laughs> like say my husband has a cafe in Belfast and we'll get international people and like like people from like East Asian countries who come to Belfast and don't understand why we've just closed for three days. Mm -hmm. You know, they're walking around and we're like, That's Christmas and they'll yeah. be like, I hear what you're saying, but it doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my holidays. Yeah. Where do I get a yeah. soda bread on Christmas Day? Do you know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, no, I know, I know, yeah, I like going away. So that's our present each other. And then I'll get them a few wee things to open up yeah. away. A few oh, wee that's socks. Class. That's good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Assless chaps. Assless chaps. You know what I mean? <laughs> things that gay people buy each other for Christmas. <laughs> you know, yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel almost like a wee bit contradictory when it comes to Christmas because mm. we're atheists. We don't believe in anything. Do you know yeah. I, mean? I, I don't, like, I mean, each to their own. I, mm. I, I respect everyone's views and opinions. But is that your, like, official standpoint on like religion and faith like that's yeah. how I feel I about it I think because we grew up like I grew up in Kowalki which mm -hmm. is I'm sure you know of it fucking all too well do you know well, you've like, heard of it it's, you know? the, it's the all sides Mornview yeah, isn't yeah, it yeah. Yeah. yeah it's Mornview and Kowalki so I grew up in <laughs> Kowalki which is fully Republican and mm. just everything's rammed down your throat Aye. so I feel like I sort of used that when I was going through life to be like, why are all these people so angry at you? these guys, yeah. you know, when they're, they're no different. And then you would meet them at like cross community things. And you're like, this is so weird. His name's uh, William and he likes football too. This is, you know, so, this is mind like Why did you, what was the, this is like, this is like, I always say like, this is like, if you don't come from Northern Ireland, you don't understand the wee, you know, the wee silent game we play with each other. What's your name? Where'd you live? Yeah. So you're and you don't, figure it out in your and, head. And you don't even, you're not even, there's actually the whole part of your brain that just does, it's a part of your lizard brain that just doesn't even, we don't need to put any energy into it. It just mm. happens. It's like a wee yeah. subroutine. Yeah. Um, it's like, a, but that, are that, you That's Catholic? why I was raised until, well, not how I was raised. It was the area I lived in that made me think like that until maybe early 20s. But that was like weird, not weird, but you know what I mean? You obviously went the other way because like so many people go embrace that. Mm. And then like, you know, you might be, I always think it's weird when people are like, don't like, you know, meet you know, if you're a Protestant and don't meet a Catholic or a Catholic and don't meet a Protestant until you're 21, mm. I find that so bizarre. It really is. I find, it? you know what I mean? Because yeah, it, yeah. it's a choice. It's like, you know, and friends, like they've no black friends. Mm. Like that's weird. They live in fucking New York. How can, <laughs> you be, how can you live in New York and have no black friends? Yeah. That's a choice you're making. Friends is actually, a, you know what I mean? Go back, friends is about six racists, mm. six white supremacists coming together. Do you know what I mean? Middle class too. Mid middle class white supremacists. Like it's a whole, if once you go mm. back and start watching it from the beginning, you realise that's what it's about. But yeah. You realise you've ruined friends now for a lot of people. 
I think I think everybody was. I'm just saying what everybody was thinking. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just I, I'm just saying it was it is. I say what well, is you know, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I remember growing up and there was a football tournament that we had, and it was like a five a side tournament just of our street versus other streets. Yeah. But in the same area and my mates were all like right we'll wear Celtic shirts and I was like but I don't have a Celtic shirt I, 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 I said but Liverpool not, and that's it did you not have that in the house no no, no neither did no. we neither did he we. had it all, all to do with that so my mates my mate was all I'll lend you one you can wear it for the match and I wore it and we got a, a picture taken of us all wearing them and I was disgusted with myself wearing it felt real disgusted I was like why I was like people now instantly hate me for no reason because I'm wearing this top no I understand that was early 90s especially those two teams are really wrapped up in that Mm. sort of thing was I was quite the school I went to in Banbridge was it would be called um, what do they call it now Integrated, yeah, yeah. But it was in those days in the nineties. It was called non-denominational. Mm-hmm. Now going back, it would have been seventy-five percent Protestant, twenty-five percent Catholic, and that's probably being generous. But mm-hmm. like, so like I had Catholic friends at school, you know. So then, as I went forward, I was always finding it weird when people were like, "Oh no, I've never met a Catholic," and I was mm-hmm. like. Where have you been? What's Don't going on? Do you know, like it was a yeah. bit, it was weird. Do you know what I mean? So, like, and then in our house, we didn't have any of that. I'll, Sure, they get everything. Oh, listen up, there's a grant going, they'll get it. Do you know what I mean? We didn't have anything. We didn't have all that crap in our house. So, And I remember maybe being about, we, whenever I was maybe about eight, we moved to from Waringstown to Donna Cloney. And Donna Cloney at the time, <laughs> Donna Cloney at the time would have been, put it this way, Donna Cloney, during Drum Cree, you know, a town of 100% Protestants, Blocked off their only main street. Um, do you know? I'm just putting that out there. But that's, that's just a fact. Right. You can you can make your decisions about what you think about that. Um, they blocked off their own main street. Um, do you know? And the thing about Donna Cloney is you don't have to go through it. Mm-hmm. Um, you can bypass it completely, get to Banbridge yeah. from Waringstown. So easily. Do you know? Yeah. E- easily and by, by choice. Do you know what I mean? Pre- pre- and preferably. <laughs> um, so, we lived, so we went from Warringstown, which was quite a middle class. We placed to Donna Cloney, which was quite a loyalist. Mm-hmm. Um, and I remember like that was the first time I started hearing, do you know, like new sectarian slurs. I hadn't really ever heard that before. Mm-hmm. And I remember going home and like, asking my aunt, like, you know what? Like, what's the difference between, like, what are we? First of all, I was like, what are we? Mm-hmm. And she said, like, well, we're Protestants. I was like, okay. I was like, and, and what is the difference between that and the Catholic? And my auntie sort of went, um, like, I think, I think they talk and pray to Mary a wee bit more than we would do. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it was all very, like, in our house, it wasn't like, there was no yeah. agenda. There was no like anti-Catholic agenda. So people don't really know if unless they're brought up with an agenda. Absolutely, they don't really know the difference. Even people who are brought up with an agenda, I feel like it's kind of a drip fed into them from their very yeah. young, and then they're of kind of like like there's a lot of indoctrination. And like I think, well, take you know, to get slightly serious, far man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like if you join any of these groups, like you're taken yeah. aside and you're indoctrinated, and mm. do you know, like um, it was just very, yeah. I think it's we don't want to go back to that no, we don't never, want to go back no. to that crap and we never will because people are too lazy now I feel so I feel yes even if you remember like the flag riots like people weren't getting out of bed to three or four in the afternoon do you know what I mean but then like the good rat <laughs> time was over do you know what I mean like you'd lost the, you'd lost the light do you know what I mean like that's why your woman had to scream no surrender because she was yeah. late for her shift at the chippy eh? <laughs> like she really was like, she what, was, back. what was that hot <laughs> no surrender like she was like infamous in this I that kind that? of love her though like mm. not Actually, yeah. Yeah. do you know where you kind of like that was like I'd say an iconic Northern Irish. It really was. Do you remember, like, yeah. I remember the time she's up there with Frostbit Boy. Like she's up there with Frostbit. She's up there. I, what's she doing now? I think I should we could we do you know what you need to do in the new year? Like where are they now? And you've got Shazzy Shankle, Frostbit Boy, and No Surrender Woman. Like what have you got up to in the last five years? And he's like, where? This Why Robert? Never. <laughs> I'll I'll zoom in. <laughs> I'll do it by Zoom. <laughs> you know I mean? Have you seen? I think we brought Frostbit Boys kind of like I, we brought up Frostbit Boy. I think the last time we were on. Have you seen him recently? Did we? Uh huh. I've seen him last week. He walked past us, Belfast City Centre. He's been in my husband's cafe a couple of times. Uh huh. He must be Belfast based <laughs> he now. He must or living something. around that yeah. area because he's got all the big. Because he was west coast of Ireland, wasn't he? I think he was studying Irish or something. Last I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I contacted him ages ago about being on the podcast, and he was like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." And then I was like, "Went suits, never heard from him again." I was like, <laughs> "All right, right, maybe." Old, I don't know. That old, old chestnut. Yeah, but but yeah. but that would have been good. That would have been good for him. Do you know what I mean? People would have, or maybe mm. I don't know, maybe. 
Because every time you see him now, he's like talking, like he's, his voice, like he's lip syncing to his own yeah. classics. Yeah. Of like, do you know what I mean? But yeah, he's all, he had a glow up. Do you know what I mean? He's had a glow mm. up because he's gone from like very much like, you know, like what do you call like Dudley Dursley um, from Harry <laughs> Potter with... <laughs> You know the Louvres. Remember the yeah, remember yeah. the wee, wee Louvre fringe. Um, to like, somebody from Outlander. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like he does. Do you know what I mean? Like he's not a you know, he's not full Game of Thrones, hasn't not he? Not a bad looking wee fella now. Do you know what I mean? He's had a bit of a glow up. He's he's like what do you call the other one out of out of Harry Potter that had the glow up? Like Neville Longbottom. Don't know. See him going about with wee teeth and eyes, wandering about with a six pack, and Calvin Klein throws on. Do you know what I mean? Like he's <laughs> looking well, looking <laughs> looking well. So, so the money's got them. That's why. Right. I know all them, hmm. all them, you, you, <laughs> Keller gas, <laughs> Phoenix gas. I didn't, he not, did he not do I think Prospect Boy did a Phoenix gas he's or something like that. To have, yeah, he's buying Dev. There was something I've seen him was... doing a few different ads for things. Uh huh. Firmus Energy would have been maybe, that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <coughs> uh, speaking of identity. Yes. Uh, I should have segued this a few minutes ago, but we were having a lot of fun. But we were talking about Frostbite, but if you're out there, Frostbite, whatever get your name touch. is, get number touch. one, tell us your name. Because Frostbite, Rory. is it? Rory McSorley. Oh, I really like that. I'm nearly certain that's his name. I quite like that, Rory McSorley. He sounds like a folk singer. Mm-hmm. I like it. Like he's been on top of the pops with like an open shirt. Uh-huh. With the chest hair. With the chest tonight. hair hanging out, but it's like played. Skinny <laughs> jeans <laughs> and a pair of sand boots. Yeah, like, no socks. No, no. No socks. Like, but loafers and no socks. Oh, yeah. What yeah. about all those? Remember, like, you know, you see like, the back of socks made in Bangladesh. What's happened to all them factories now that, you know, the hipsters don't wear socks? That's right. Do you mean all those local economies? But then do they not wear the, like, sort of, we, s- do we slip on slip things that like, go around socks. their socks? I hope oh, We just I, don't see them. I hope so. They would need to. Because you're just feet up a You're a rigging. Feet up a fucking pigging. And, like, dirt in between your uh, toe jam toes and, uh, oh. is that what it's called toe jam I think so toe jam right. oh. <laughs> it's actually giving me the dry book oh, yeah. um, brought up my way hotel chocolate tree <laughs> <laughs> just put it back just <laughs> assembling just put it all like I hardly chewed that there we go that's great <laughs> so yeah the World Cup did you watch any of it no I watched the, the World Cup final right was Absolutely brilliant! Yes, I have. I've seen it all on my Facebook. Brilliant. Everybody loved it. Yeah, it was so exciting. Yeah, but it made me quite sad. The whole tournament did because I have no identity. Like, I have zero identity. Do See, you mean like national identity or cultural identity or everything? Everything. Yeah. I feel like I've been raised, obviously, in how would you call it? Like under British kind of. Occupation? No. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to find the word myself. Let's just say British like TV, the, British the culture. umbrella of culture. Yeah. yeah. From BBC to ITV to all my channels, all my main channels are, you know. Yeah. They're, they're did you not have RT. RTE? Did you have RTE? We did. And then it got to the point where you had to have it like through a dodgy aerial or something. And then it got to the uh, point where it was like on Sky and they blocked it up here. And it got to the point where it was like. Right. Cause I remember getting, really making us work for this. I remember getting RTE and like thinking, oh, this is class. But it was like, mm. it was a bit sad if you think back on it. Because like maybe kids were getting Sky. We were getting RTE. It's uh, like poor people's RTE. It really is, yeah. Know, poor people's Sky. Poor people's Sky. <laughs> poor people's Sky. Poor people's RTE. RTE is poor people's RTE. Isn't it? No, yeah. because, but like, yeah, because you got like neighbours like a week in advance. Mm. Do you remember? You always got home and away neighbours before. Yeah, there's quite a few things you got uh, early. And then there was doing. Top 30 Hits. Do you remember it back in the day? Top, was it on like a Sunday? It was on either a Saturday or Sunday morning, and it just had like a countdown of all the songs. But yeah. it was, it was. There was no presenter. The top of the it was just yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I Brilliant. Lo- I would have watched. Yeah, I would have. I definitely would have watched the Den rather than yeah. like the broom cupboard around like that. Do you remember Bosco too. Bosco, yeah. Knock, knock, it's open wide. Wee... See what's on the other side. Yeah. yeah. Was that was that a female? I think, I I think he was gender non determinate. Mm. They were gender non determinate. I know. I think Bosco was meant to be a little boy. Right, but might have been like a Bart Simpson I think he girl was, did the voice. I then... think it, but I think he was mostly fucking terrifying. Mm. Um, because it was it came out of the wee box, and there was all and the all the presenters. All, I always remember that the presenters had like super Irish names. Yeah, they were always there was like a Dar O'Brien kind of looking fella, wasn't there? There was, yeah, and then there was like a big skinny, a big skinny guy with like curly hair and like kind of mm. big eyes, and then there was always a Grania. There's I, always a grony on our teeth. There's always a grony, and a hello grony, and it was always you know, oh hello, and then you would go, and then you would have some crap 1970s footage yeah. of a fade, just yeah. some shit with yeah. the, you know, the line through it, <laughs> tracking. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 it was good buffering, isn't it? Just press the button. But yeah, no, but I would have, and um, like zig and zag. 
mm. Championship Six. And I remember, as well. I remember the the evil origins of um, Podge. Do you remember Podge and Rog? <clears throat> so Podge of Podge and Rog. Mm. So Podge. So which one was it? Zig. And it was Zig and was it Zig and Zag. So Zig was the purple one. So were they related, or is there they a were connection? Bro- uh huh. So Zig and Zag. So Zig at one point got decided. The storyline was, if you go back, Red Darcy, if you're watching this, you can verify this. The storyline was Zig had a ventriloquist's puppet, right? That was Podge, and then he would put Podge into the side. Zig and Ray would leave. Zag would be left on his own, and Podge would come to life. And then, as the weeks went on, it was like an ongoing. It was a Carnation Street. There was an ongoing right, storyline right. yeah. over weeks, where then Podge took over the studio, and then Unreal. the rest was history. Did not know that. Do you, I, I just remembered and I'd be like, mm-hmm. watch okay, it. I did not know that at all. Yeah. I don't know. Any, That's amazing. Uh, can anybody, any people who live on the island of Ireland over the age of 40 <laughs> verify that I haven't just completely made that up in like a weird fever dream? But yeah. Mariah Carey will text me. <clears> she'll, she'll let me know. She loves Zig and Zag. Loves she, it. She, she, Mariah Carey actually grew up in Tala. Did you not know that? <laughs> 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 that's it, yeah. That's it. She grew up and she was like, you know, had to like teach her to speak a wee bit of American. That's why she speaks weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? We drop a towel in her. We drop a towel. <laughs> Definitely. We drop. We drop. Say, drop. We drop. We drop a towel in. Yeah. But yeah, I know, we're going back to what you're saying about cultural identity. I totally see, I totally hear what you're saying because if someone was to ask me, where are you from? Drop this bitch. Drip. No, um, the, the, I, did, just... I, I would, lo- I would laugh though. I would kind of love it. I would kind of, <laughs> um, the uh, drop. I feel you know when people ask you, you know, where are you from, and I, would, I always say Northern Ireland, and I'm not saying it from a kind of like, hey, I'm Northern Irish, I'm British, yeah, way. I feel as though that's where I am from. Do you know? That's where I feel like culturally come mm-hmm. from. Like I don't feel culturally, I don't have any cultural af- af- affinity with London. Or Dublin, do you know what I mean? I didn't. Do you know? Do you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like we in this part of the world, we've got our own we thing. We've got our yeah, own like things really that are do. going on, yeah. and so like if you grew up, uh, if you even if you grew up in like Monaghan or Cavan, you're gonna have a. You're, it's gonna be different. Mm-hmm. It, Donegal, do you know what I mean? You're gonna be different than growing up in Northern Ireland. Mm-hmm. You know, so I feel as though, and, but then. I can't be bothered. Do you know people go, are you Irish? I go, yes. <coughs> really? Yeah, I can't. Is that on holiday or just yeah. in general? Or? or in general, yeah. Like, I don't want to, I don't, I'm not. But that's it. Why can you not just answer? Why can you not just say? Exactly, yeah. This is who I am. This is where I'm from. Because that's what I'm saying about the World Cup. You see all these countries and supporters and everyone's so passionate and yeah. they're so united. Yeah. And we just, I feel like that's been robbed from us. We do. And even the other parts of the British Isles, you know, mm. if you're Scottish, you get to be really proud of it being Scottish. Yeah. If you're um, Welsh, you get to be really proud of being Welsh. If you're English, you get to be sorry for colonialism and imperialism. <laughs> but um, you know, <laughs> you get to take that on board and listen to that. But you know, um, yeah. you can, Northern Ireland, like I don't even think it's a, per, I don't even think it's like, uh, like an official nationality. It's not. You, you can't know, have you a can't, Northern Irish passport. No, you, you can't can, say it's either I'm, Irish or British. Yeah, and but but you know, if you go, you can say you're Scottish. Mm. You can say you're Welsh, but it's like. Mm, you know, and even our flag has... It's like, the St. George's Cross, isn't it? It's St. Patrick's Cross with the red hand of Ulster in it. Oh, is it? So is that not the Ulster flag? No? Is that the Northern Ireland flag? Yes, Northern... Because if you think about Northern Ireland's flag makes up the Union Jack, the Union yeah. flag. Yeah. So it's like, so it's the St. George Cross is that way and the St. Patrick's Cross is that way. Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. And then it's the St. Andrew's Cross is the blue bit. Mm. Um, and... Um, because I am a proper Protestant, we have to learn those things. Um, <laughs> battered India, but yeah, but yeah, you kind of have to. I don't know. How do, but like, how do you like? How would you describe yourself if you were on holiday? I mean, I would say I'm Irish. I have an mm-hmm. Irish passport. You know, I, I I have applied for my Irish passport. I'm just putting that in there, just saying, because yeah. like I'm not fucking standing in any other country's <laughs> queue in the airport in like Fuck Tenerife. That. No, it's funny that that's all it would take for some people. You know, like staunch Protestants or people who are oh, like why? better loyalists. Oh why? And they're like, oh, the Queen and fucking King Billy and all's here, but I might fuck stand in a queue for twenty minutes. Just Sammy Wilson <laughs> with like some like blonde wig on. <laughs> Ginger mean? wig, just like out there. I would, I imagine, I imagine with a wee mommy hair wig. Do you mm-hmm. like one of those, like you know, we a wee like helmet blowout? Yeah. Do you know what I mean wig on? Do in like first Irish passport starting in the EU queue, <laughs> trying to get home from his holidays in Gran Canaria. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, million percent. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Tar- but I see the comedians boxing's coming up. Yes. In February. My friend, my good friend Sergio Davidson. I think she is, she is um, Heather Anderson. 
Correct. Yes. David, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Hundred percent. So um they're fighting who are you fighting? Pete Giffen. Pete Giffen. Fellow Lurgan man. Yes, I love so Pete. Lurgan versus Lurgan. Lurgan. Yeah, Not a great. crust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so I'm fighting him and I'm like because uh, another segue right did you see all that stuff with Conor McGregor over the weekend with PJ Gallagher the Irish was comedian? he put out or something and then there was a whole band of like I think he was on the late 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 the late late show mm -hmm. I was thinking of I don't know why I was the late, toy late, show late, 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 late. he was on the late late show I think on Saturday night and I don't know if Conor McGregor seen it or seen a tweet that he'd put out or something. And it was he was talking about mental health and how yeah. this day last year he was on the verge of, I don't know, killing himself or he was mm -hmm. in a really dark place. And he got help and he spoke yeah. out about it and stuff and raised awareness and all this here. And Conor McGregor just literally ripped him out going, you fucking... You Why are you talking dickhead. like that, you total pussy? Um, yeah, and he's much. just like, you know, but like... Do you know why sometimes people get like offended? And I do understand... I do understand like people you have you have to sort of sometimes stand up against certain things right and that's fine but I don't get offended by people like Conor McGregor really mm -hmm. because I'm a bit like do you expect any better I know I know you know is there any point in wasting time and energy getting annoyed at somebody who can't howl their own pish I know I don't I don't see the I don't see the thing like you know I do I you know see both sides of the whole offense thing but like Conor McGregor pff, who cares he has really really this the Joe you know he's trending I'm gonna find the tweet and read it out for you because it is quite shit like and he, mm. and, and PJ Gallagher's had a look there we go Lo, uh, PJ Gallagher's had loads of support since it he says PJ Gallagher you little sad pox of a thing sit up right and smile for a change will you you sad cunt <laughs> wife left you and all and you're crying in the paper about depression posture like a prawn sad bastard I am Ireland don't forget it there's blood on my on my flag you see so or you, uh, you what you see so or you see so what's that mean U S E E S O O. you see so or you see so or I don't know. Must be. Maybe that was. Maybe that's whenever like the vodka kicked in, and he just like yeah. his hand just fell on the keypad. Like got there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe towards that's the end. mad. You, your wife left you and all. I love the way like they get like he gets real, you know. And then you know, and your your mother. And <laughs> just your dad, really brings it to the lowest your, level. Your dad smells like vinegar. <laughs> your dad spells all day in the bookies. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You have to. Yeah, you have to have a uh, Tesco everyday value because your dad gambles all your money away. There you go. You know what I mean? And you have to. You know what I mean? You have to ruin everybody's. You know, it goes really. But yeah, I don't know. Like, um, do you know what I mean? Conor McGregor. Oh, yeah. It's so but as sad, you say, I think. it's so sad though because like it is such an amazing. That other, as you say, the guy was like taking the time to sort of. He was taking the time to shine a light on something that as men we're not really meant to talk about anymore. Yeah. We're not yeah. really talk about. You're meant to talk about your feelings, and I do think that we're improving but at the same time we're nowhere near where we should be yeah. really when it comes to talking about things and there's Conor McGregor coming <laughs> to shitting on everybody's fucking chips yeah. and they think oh fuck off Conor I know, it, know? it's so sad I just uh, how far I think he's declined as well or how far removed he's came from maybe four or five years ago of being every Irish person's like he represents us. He's, you know, showing that well, if you have heart and determination, yeah. you can achieve whatever you want. And then it just hit money and a crazy levels of fame. Do you think and he's just not connected to reality anymore? Like no. he's swanning about in his like Italian suits and his Bentley's like, you know, fucking you know, everything. And yeah. it's not, and he's not related to reality in any way, shape, or form anymore. I always, I always think you need, you know, is that okay? Uh, I, um, Keep falling, it keeps falling. It's, it's my. It's the know. it's the weight of the mic. They're it's ridiculous. So is that there? Is that tighten it? That I mean, there's three or four different ways of tightening it, but it's still <laughs> it, it's it, so heavy. It just sort of denies it. But yeah, like um, as you say, like he had this. I am not under all that thing, but I respected the position that he sort of held mm -hmm. culturally, yeah. where yeah, lots of people looked up to him. But yeah, he has. You need mates that turn around and say, "You fucking wind your neck." Aye. Wind you your need, neck, and that's the key you, fucking phrase. Do you yeah. know, I do have friends that will say to me, "I think that you, you know." And I think maybe all comedians do a certain bit. You know, if you have a few drinks in you and you're chatting to people and you think you're being funny. And there's, I have one friend, my friend Debbie, also from Lurgan. I will phone her and I will say, Debbie, tell me the truth. Was I funny? 
or was I a cunt? <laughs> and just tell it to me straight. And Is she will special. <laughs> and she will tell me, Am I am I funny or am I a cunt? You're like let the audience like you know at the end yeah. like put like a wee a wee green or a wee red <laughs> yeah. counter. Can cook go and cook. <laughs> you know, it's like, and then it's like you're you're a cunt. Um I know I, I could I could see the answer to that already. That's a way I said and there was a moot point. Uh but she but she'll never say to me, No, you're being a total dickhead. She'll go, Well, like maybe some people ask. Send some people a wee text to see how they're doing the day. <laughs> or maybe we give give her a wee phone <laughs> and see where she's at the day. Yeah. And then I'll go, oh. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's so diplomatic and lovely. You know, so she's like a... So I feel like everybody needs a friend like Debbie to sort of just go, do you know what? Just sit down. <laughs> and maybe if you stop talking for a wee hour or two and just... Have a wee rest. Have a wee rest of being a dick. Take a day off from being an arsehole. <laughs> and then, do I feel like Conor McGregor, do you like the Conor McGregor's, the Kanye West's, you know, the people who are, and they maybe be, you know, it, an ironic, ironically or paradoxically, whatever the proper fucking word for that is, um, you know, maybe they are suffering from a mental health issue themselves by, because they're surrounded by people who are not going to point it out to them that they're not getting the help they need. Like Conor McGregor might be some mad like sociopathic narcissist that nobody's yeah. not getting any help. That's it. When you reach those levels, I'm sure you attract a lot of people too who are solely, who just want to be part of your club. Were well, they're on the bandwagon. For those reasons, just money and success and fame and attention. And they're they getting into nightclubs like and, and restaurants yeah. and then like getting chartered flights to flip mm -hmm. in Las Vegas and there because they're part of your entourage. And so it doesn't serve them to turn around and go, mm -hmm. do you know what? Let's not go for a drink. Let's sit in and watch Gilmore Girls. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's not going to serve them. I don't know. Not the new Gilmore Girls though. I'm just putting that out there. Um, the so old ones? The old, the old ones. The original, the original series. But yeah, but like, it is sad. It is sad. Very sad. You but know. Uh, yeah, and it, it's full decline. Yeah, you know I mean, it's it's when you look at all the things. You remember, he punched an old fella in the face in a bar, <sighs> and he just turned into a thug. And then there was all these claims of like rape and all these other things it's that sort all, of stuck around him too. But it's it's like it's almost like he feels as though he is untouchable, mm -hmm. and as he and is he wrong? Because like nothing seems to kind of stick. Is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's nothing sticking. Like there's nothing. Hmm. There's nothing. But like as well, like you know, um, like Tyson Fury, I always feel like they too fall into like a similar kind of thing where like they're, they're successful at their things, but like in real life, do you know? Has Tyson Fury? Because I kind of step back from it. Did Tyson remember Tyson Fury at one point was like done for like cancelled, slightly cancelled for homophobic slurs at some dude. Was I? Um, or was that Conor McGregor? Oh, I don't know. Was this recently or what Oh, no, like a few years ago. But has Tyson McGregor... Where is Tyson McGregor? Well, Tyson McGregor. Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Is he still like I kind of... I think he's classed as like a gentleman. He's right. like, yeah, he really speaks out about mental health and things yeah. like that, you know. And So has... Um, I I'm, I'm not... I don't know, so I'm asking. As far asking. as I'm yeah. aware, as far yeah. as I'm aware, he's, he's known as just a big gentle giant. Right. And as, From what I hear. Wouldn't you be raging? Because isn't his wee brother, isn't he the one that was on Love Island? No, he's quite good looking. Yeah. They're you know related mean? in some Wouldn't shape or form. Raging, like Tommy Ta Fury? Aye. Uh, like Tyson's, Tyson's the Solange, isn't he? Aye. Uh, and Tommy's the Beyonce. Like, yeah. at the, like do you know what I mean? Wouldn't you be raging? Mm -hmm. It's like you'd be raging if that was your sibling. You'd be raging if Tommy had the boxing as well, though. Aye. Well, I know he does to a certain extent, but... He know, always drops out. I feel as though like, there's always... Him and what do you call that America fella? Jake Paul. Yeah. And there's always like kind of like he's going to like, I'm being wild butch here, <laughs> talking about my wild loads of sports hanks. Um, you know what I mean? This is wild mask for mask. Um, but he is, he, uh, like, do you know I mean? They're always, I always say, do you know, it comes up, it's like Kardashians, you kind of absorb these cultural references via osmosis. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the, like, Jack Paul, and then your man, like Tommy Fury, always seems to like drop out. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But just, to be honest, just, there's probably like, a Burton photo shoot or something like that there that he has oh, to yeah, do yeah. or like you know what yeah all punches from the neck down do you know what I mean just wearing like a big <laughs> Power Ranger helmet <laughs> as he goes into the ring but yeah like it is but do you not think all sports is like it's not really about sports anymore like even football but like if you rewind to whenever you watched football whenever you were like in your like early years and early teens like footballers could easily be greasy, out of shape messes. Yeah, you remember big Gaza? moustaches, big beer bellies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on the on the on the football pitch, like 
We're yeah. taking a wee break after we run about. Was and that folk and the piss and the shit on the pitch, you know? I, the, the, like, there was no glamour about it yeah. now where it's all like, you it's know. all your fucking hair gel and your quiffs yeah, your and your spray tan and uh -huh. your teeth and your fucking. Six pack and you're all uh, like, there's no, like, there's no very few ugly footballers anymore. I suppose, like, at the, you know, I mean, there's only, no such thing as ugly people. They're just poor people. <laughs> Isn't there really? You know, you just get, you know, like a Cheryl Cole. Like, Cheryl Cole's a beautiful girl, but thanks to her dentist. Mm. Like, she did. She had a house, do you know what I mean? Yeah, she had the stone hands in there, didn't she? Like? She had stone hands in for teeth, teeth like a fucking vandalized graveyard for many <laughs> years. There was that one way teeth <laughs> that was, that came around, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, she had like three hairs in her head, and then all of a sudden, like, she's, do you remember at one point, Cheryl, you couldn't fucking turn around, but Cheryl Cole was everywhere. 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 I for about three, four years, maybe I mean, more. She was when she was on X Factor. Do you remember she yeah. was everywhere? I remember going to my mommy's bathroom when she was on the fucking hell net. And I'm like, fuck off, Cheryl Cole! <laughs> fucking leave me alone! Leave me alone. She's a beautiful girl. Do you know what I mean? She's beautiful. She's no Nadine Coyle. Um, do you know, she doesn't have the voice of Nadine, but, yeah. do you know, but do you know, like. Singing voice. And, like, and she's another one of these ones where, like, people forget that she. <laughs> was arrested for racially abusing mm -hmm. a girl and she battered some woman and she battered some and like like threw racial slurs at her and stuff and people forget you know mm. I think Kath, was it Catherine Ryan like asked the question how beautiful do you need to be to make people forget that you're a racist piece of shit yeah. and the answer is Cheryl Cole <laughs> that's how beautiful you need to be <laughs> Catherine love Ryan's her. great Kath, I, I love did Catherine did you see her way through Three. I haven't seen it yet. Is it it's really good? Brilliant. Yeah, it's really Definitely good. Worth watching. She has no boundaries. No, I love, I love her bit about you and like Beyonce bringing the other two. She's got like you know, got like Kelly, other one. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like the other one doesn't like you know, Michelle, poor Michelle, for Michelle Williams. Do you know what I mean? She was other one. Like she really was. She was. Yeah. She was brought in. Yeah. Like you know, and Kelly. I always felt like, yeah, Beyonce's ma always did Kelly, um, Kelly Rowland. She always did her dirty because she kept her hair short. Because mm -hmm. you know, like Beyonce's ma, she took her in, didn't she? She took her in, and yeah. she did all the cost. If you like watch uh, like all the old, yes, I'm, yeah. make, I'm to balancing it out with some gay content here, Sean, because there was a lot of sport talk. <laughs> there, was. there was a lot of sport talk there, and I, I'm I'm juiced out. Of it. I, that's, you've got all the nice sports talk out of me there. <laughs> <laughs> Juiced out of sports stuff. That's like well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, have to get rid of all this testosterone now. I am. Go I'm gonna have to like take like a more girls. go like jumbo center and get like rid three ways in the can <laughs> canary just to sort of like recharge McGinnis. You know that sort of way. Just like up in a sack swing and let them out. Do you know what I mean? Like quick. It's a stat. Do you know what I mean? He's supposed to go three penises. Stat. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Ten cc's of spunk. <laughs> quick over space. Um, it's like this. Uh, this episode of the Shen Hergerty Show. Does contain a warning may contain <laughs> may contain references to puffs um it's like, but yeah like yeah like yeah shell cold shell cold like yeah what happened to her she, she might that oh. way this she might that way lad she might that way no she got fella? no um oh, one direction aye yeah yeah so she's been married three times did she marry him or did she just have his way in what's his marry? surname was she ever cheryl <sighs> one direction Cheryl Direction. Cheryl Direction. <laughs> Cheryl, or was he Liam Allowed? Um, <laughs> Liam Allowed Direction. Uh, direction Allowed. Um, I, do, I don't know what his surname Liam is. Payne. Payne. Liam Payne. Liam Payne. So Cheryl Payne. So this is like total uh, tags. This is like just people with ADHD watching this episode, Sean, are going to be fucking called in saying, I like know. I said, this is, this is mad for yeah. my focus. But like you started four points half an hour ago. We don't know what that happened up and what is happening. We, I have a tag. <laughs> Like the, 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 the burlesque dancer Rita Peach and I we are known as the tangent twins and we make it worse for each other <laughs> and people watching us are like trying to follow the conversation it's like oh my god is this is this what schizophrenia is like <laughs> is this what this is like when there's like different 100%. voices all happening but yeah like but yes but Liam I have, I have to talk about dance I have to talk about Liam Payne Did, and I thought whenever One Direction broke up I thought he would be he would be like the, the Gary the Gary Barlow one on the dough. Did dome. you really? I thought he'd be the Gary Barlow because <laughs> oh, you no, know it's Nell and your other one. But he, but he thinks Harry. that he's the rabbi, mm -hmm. and he's not. He's definitely not. He's not. He's not even like he's not even the Mickey from Westlife. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like he's not. He's not. Do you know? Do you know somebody who? Again, he that's somebody who needed mates to go. You have no personality. We love you. <laughs> We love you. <laughs> You're a nice guy, but you've all the charisma yeah. of low fat own brand mayonnaise. You are shite. <laughs> <laughs> do, do a friend that's brutally yeah. honest with you. Yeah. I think that's what yeah, Liam that's his that's the name of his next album. 
Low fat, bone brand, <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> Somebody please make us that picture. <laughs> that'd be... <laughs> Hellman's, that'd be tattoos a... of Hellman's <laughs> and Haynes all down, all down his arm. That'd be class. Uh, speaking of like TV shows and stuff, 20 minutes ago. Yes. But Harry and gonna... Megan. Did you watch Harry and Megan? <laughs> I am the worst. I watched the, like, the Oprah interview. Were you silent? Like a year ago? Yeah, I watched that. And then I was like, oh, these two. Do you like them? Are fu- <sighs> I, think I, that's how. I love them. Do you love what? What is it you love about them? Like just like sticking out. I love out. their rebelliousness. I mm. love that how he was on his way to go and fuck every single one of you. This is madness. Mm-hmm. And then she further opened his eyes, I think, and went here. Let's the two of us get out of this because this is shit. Mm. And the, she was going to end up dead. She was going to fully Diana herself. I think yes. I think hundred percent. Something would have happened. She's stuck out. I think it's all kind of true. I hundred be- percent believe them. I totally hundred percent believe them because it echoes so much of what Princess Diana said. Um, but at the same time, they are a couple of fucking chancers for like we are checking ourselves off yeah. into seclusion where we can live a private life with an interview with Oprah and a three part Netflix special. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Our like, own podcast. They are the royals. All these other things. They yeah. are Katie Price, but in royal. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, do people- Slightly more talent. Sl- I don't know now, like how Prince Harry, you ever hear Prince, whenever Prince Harry talks, and Prince William as well, you think to yourself, are you, are you the product of what the best education in the UK mm. can fucking buy? You sound like a potato with a lisp. <laughs> it's fucking awful. <laughs> like it's awful. He sounds, it's with, oh, <laughs> both, oh, my cane chip. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it sounds like, uh, um, whenever, they're t- whenever they're talking, uh, yeah, mm. uh, yeah. That's uh, a very good Prince Charles. And, like, uh, 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 and I just think King, King Charles III. Uh, Sorry. Uh, thank you very much. That's um, right. His Royal Majesty. <laughs> um, you know, vive le roi. Yeah. Uh, but he, like, yeah, I just think that the sign, I always think that Prince William, uh, Prince, now no, no, his Royal Highness Prince of Wales, um, has, William? William. Ha, always sounds like he's got an adenoid infection. <laughs> Whenever he talks, his voice is real thick. Um, and yeah. then Prince Harry just sounds thick. Like God, like, you know, Prince Harry is the closest to us of all. I think so, because even whenever he was a wee boy, do you remember like he would have the pictures of him sticking his tongue out at the paparazzi yeah. and all, and like he was he always was the, the one. rebellious one from the start. Uh-huh. But he knew that like, he was like that there. <laughs> Fuck, I don't have to, I'm never going to be king. He didn't give up bollocks, did he? I don't give a shit, I've got all the money. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? That's it. Like, you know, and it kind of like, so I think it's I kind of like <laughs> I kind of like hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them all because did you see that thing where um, recently? So in the special, Megan says um, I read this in an article. I didn't watch the special. So Megan apparently says in the special, I was not allowed to wear the same. She was not allowed to wear the same colours as the Queen. Mm-hmm. She was not allowed to wear the same colours as Her Majesty. Blah 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 blah. So you go right okay. Wee bit like not being able to wear white at a wedding, Megal, Megan. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like chill yeah. the fuck out. Like you know, you know, you have, color. you have a you have a lock of pound. Like you can go buy yourself an off rock. Um, <laughs> but and then like in the last week, and then the last week you're they all come out in the burgundy. She just yeah, <laughs> kids like that. It's there. like the final middle finger to them all. Was thug that? life didn't yeah. chat chose the fuck that not chose me. Imagine she had a pulled her top up and it said thug life. I would have been fucking thug life, brilliant. Fucking Windsor life. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking God save the fucking great. <laughs> Me, <laughs> your mouth worked quicker than your brain. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I, that, 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 that's that is my life. <laughs> yeah, Mine too, to, like, to like, a certain extent. But yeah, like, did you hear about what Jeremy Clarkson said about uh, yeah, fuck. So I don't know for anybody who didn't. He's like, I hate her on a site. Aye. First of all, I thought that that was Piers Morgan again because I just cursory yeah, glanced yeah, yeah. over it because they kind of have that same you know, like, like Instagram takeover, old wine, <laughs> old like white doughy man face. Yeah. Do you know, like it's kind of, it's all starting to sag. Mm-hmm. You know that Harold Bishop, oh Madge, you know like yeah. the whole Giles. Um, and I was like, oh no, it's Jeremy Clarkson. Why does Jeremy Clarkson have such a fucking Who had strong lunch a couple of days before with Camilla? If they're all in on it. They're all in they're on all... it. I right. I'm gonna say something controversial. Fucking do it. I love I Camilla Park. I love Camilla Parker Bowles. Why? I fucking love. I love her. I think she's a fucking legend. Mm. And I tell you why. Right. So, Prince, remember Prince, Princess Diana. Aye. Oh, look at his hair. Oh, looking over, looking over her blue eyeliner. 
at your man Martin Bashir. I want to be the queen of Prince People's Hearts. And instantly everybody fucking hated Camilla Parker Bowes. Her, look at the fucking state of her. She could eat an apple through a letterbox. Mm -hmm. Ugly bastard. Princess Diana's is beautiful, right? Camilla Parker Bowes has never once been a cheeky bitch. She shows up to work. She shakes the hands of people. Imagine he had to shake you know, like half of them people who stand outside, imagine their hands. I she sanitizes, I'm sure, straight after. I'd say she has the wee squeegee thing on her, on her I, belt. I, but you don't see that. Do you know what I mean? Because I'd, I'd be pure going like this here, like in front of the cameras. <laughs> oh, it's like happy squirt. birthday. What is it, 20 seconds? Happy oh, birthday to me. Oh, oh, there we go. What was the song you had to sing when you were doing it? Oh, why? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. Before we move on, um, I'm, I'm going to just pray out to myself because look at that dirty bastard down the road there. Do you know what I mean? Like, that would be me. Um, yeah. But she don't say it. And like, and she's she's the queen. Mm. Fucking bow down, bitches. Do you know what I mean? Like, who wins? I know. Camilla Parker Bowles. Like, not the... Like, do you know queen what I mean? Queen consulate, is that what she's queen called? Queen consort. Consort? But... That doesn't mean anything because the Queen Mother was the Queen Consort, but nobody ever said that. Right, right. So is it, is it just the Queen's diff- the Queen? The Queen, well, no, yes and no, because the Queen Consort is the wife of the King. Mm-hmm. The Queen Regnant was Elizabeth II. She was Queen in her own right. And that's why Philip was never King, because King always trumps Queen. Like uh, a he good was game Prince of poker. William? He was Prince or Philip. He was Prince Philip, of course. He was Prince William. <laughs> Yeah. They just like pulled the mask off. Yeah. Like, oh, I that's, that's my impression of Prince Philip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Elizabeth, I don't know. Because yeah. again, was, but yeah, going winding back to Jeremy Clarkson. I what do, what like what is Jeremy Clarkson? Like, where did his visceral fucking where hatred? did he think that would take him? You know, and his daughter, I think, is it Emily Clarkson, has come yeah. out today going, I do not stand by anything that my dad has said. But was he said something like, I hate her on a cellular level and I want her to be like paraded through the town naked, naked with people yeah. shouting shame at her. He wants her stripped naked so people throw their feces at her in every town in the UK or something he said. Like, where does Jeremy live where people carry their feces about with them? That's what I want to know. Well, like, on a farm, I suppose, if you're going to live anywhere. Do you think he... Like, he only lives in that farm where there's a fucking new like a camera crew around him. He lives in like some <laughs> flat in Belgravia. Fuck off, Jeremy Probably. Clarkson. <laughs> no, fuck you. Jeremy, I just never liked him. I just yeah. always, he, uh, his face always looked like, so just... A big potato. A big fucking... Arsehole with tiles. Potato, eye. Yeah, just like a big... Uh, I never liked him. I thought that he kind of... And I always thought that he kind of brought Top Gear down. Whereas other two guys were like fun but still talking about the cars because my husband loves cars. Um... Whereas he always brought it down. He always brought it down to that level of, this is a puffs car. You know what I mean? And you're like, yeah, <laughs> that sort of shit. And I never really... <laughs> I think that is a quote. I think that is a quote from an episode of Top Gear. This is a puffs car. Oh, fucking my car, I'd say, your house is a puffs car. It's like fucking pig. And I think my car has brought the property value you of your what? area right down. The only I got our car washed this morning, so you're fine. It's, that's it's all right. just, it's literally just been washed. It's, that's okay. I don't feel so bad. I'll have to put it through the thing. But yeah, like what is... Like, I... There has to be something like what is the difference between like what is the number one difference between her and Kate Middleton? It sounds like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> between Camilla and or no Markle, Mar- Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton, like the difference between them is like it's just a, it is a racial thing. Like do you know what I mean? It I do feel like it has to and be. she's American and she's a divorcee yeah. and you know, there's all these different things going on. I would say Meghan would probably be a fucking diva bastard. On her own. Do you think so? I do. I do, 100% do. But I don't know. But she doesn't mean that she deserves the treatment mm. that she receives. She doesn't deserve it. It's not, it's not, nothing that she's done in public <coughs> warrants mm. the way that she's behaved. I don't think she's ever had the opportunity to be a diva. I think she's always been like, because remember she said like the first time they went to meet the queen, she didn't know what to do. And Harry had to give her like a crash course in the taxi on the way there. I don't believe that. Do you not? No. Jesus well, has been good on it for years. You don't. She, like Americans love the royal family. Mm. They love the royal family. They would like to have a True. royal family. Everybody, like, you know. Go take that one. Do you think have Irish? Do you know what I mean? Don't you? But they've, I don't know the Kennedys, don't they? Mm-hmm. That keeps that keeps fucking. I mean, they keep fucking doing like damn weird circumstances. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know. Yeah. Um. But um. I think the Queen got the Kennedy people to take Diana out. I don't know. Just the putting queen. it out there. The Queen, she's like, God, there, do what you did with the Kennedys. Just yeah. take her out. Uh, make it look like an accident. <laughs> um, but she... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. But you, I think, yeah, like, there's no... I don't know. I, I uh, One of the things that she said, because it's contradictory, 
thing. So she goes, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything about Prince William, Prince Harry before I met him. Mm. And then another thing, she was like, her friends were basically like looking him up on Facebook and things. And you're like, you say, you'd, I know. There's things yeah. that just don't, like she, like she is not, like she, like she, you know, she's like, a, she, she's a normal American woman with access to all the cultural references that we have. Mm. She didn't live in some cult hermitage where, you know, she had no access Donna to the Day. outside work. Donica Day. Um, Donna Cloney. Donna Cloney. Donna Cloney. <laughs> Donna, I always say Donna Cloney's a bit like Game of Thrones. Not because yeah. of the zombies or the dragons because people fuck their sisters. Um, <laughs> but they're... <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Seriously. Uh, the Cersei break. The, the, the Cersei fucker. Uh, but there's... Yeah, like... I, I think it's kind of all true. I hate them all. I think it's all kind of a bit shit. Like, they're all, I, I think they're all assholes, to be but, fair. But how does that end? How do you get rid of all that? Do you go, right, see all you fuckers, you can all have whatever your titles are, but nobody from here on that's born gets anything? No, I think. No, I, I think, think. You're talking it's still a good 80, 90 years before we get rid of them all, do you know what I mean? But I would, uh, mm, see, yeah, I'm going to get like bombed out because like I just don't see. I am fascinated by the royal family and the monarchy as you know, like a link through history. Hmm. Do you know, like once you know, whenever you go back, you can go right in the time of, and then his father was, and her mother was, and blah blah blah. But in a modern day sense, where like you are just born, like what, like why are they any more worthy than anybody else to have all this money, all this privilege, and they're no crack? I know. Like I they know. look fucking bored. Can you imagine having dinner? Did you ever see the old like the? It was like a sixties, nineteen sixties footage of you know they having the breakfast with the queen and and then he brought a gorilla in and I just didn't quite know how to react to a gorilla <laughs> and you were like oh, oh fuck class one yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ do you know what I mean you just see Anne like going like this here I am teetering on abolition like do you know what I mean like getting rid of fucking man I am fucking joining a commune <laughs> I'm joining a kibbutz in Israel this is shit this is shit talk all the, do you know what I mean like yeah. they just look like they're no crack but that's it you see them on these in these events and stuff and they're just shaking hands with it's small talk with about 10,000 people yeah, and, like, and you're like I'm alright with the money I have I'm alright you know, but all like you know the, 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 the when you meet, meet the queen so the queen would always be like seated you know at such and such a thing and the person to the left of her and the right of her I was just in my head I was going David you definitely pointed to your right right and your right left that's okay because people will pick up but on think that think of them watching, do watching you're doing their I'm doing their say yeah uh, top, top. Do you know what I mean? Cut totally, hundred percent. That's what. That's what. That's what we're professional. Um, <laughs> but you and so like she would like you know. So you're not. You weren't allowed to speak to her until she spoke to you. Mm. Rude. Um, and then like as soon as she would turn away, that would be the end of your conversation. So you can go. I know, but hi. And all thing I remember here. Listen, I forgot to tell you about my mommy though. Do you know like here yeah. she would love here. Listen, where'd you get that in your head? Um, where'd you get that crown? Is it that? <laughs> is, ago. is that stolen Indian diamonds? Um, do you know what I mean? Like how many? Do you know how many? How many Indian kids do you think that would feed now? Um, and but what if you fart? Do you know before she speaks, are you not allowed to say pardon me? Do you have to go? Yeah. What if she farts? Does she say pardon me? Or do you just have to like fucking suck it in and just like mm. say, oh, Jesus Christ, you're mad. What the fuck are you eating? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, oh, she, like old, like I would say, like she'd be stinking. Like, yeah. Like we, we are so we're going to get, we get firebombed, Sean. And we are going to get firebombed. <laughs> um, do you know what we are going to get like people like you can't talk about it like this. Um, <laughs> say what you want. Say what you want. But yeah, I, yeah, that's the, like, I just don't see, I just don't see the point in them. And people go, oh, they bring so much for tourism. No, they don't. There's not like a fucking queue to meet the queen or to meet the king or anything. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they're never there whenever you go to Buckingham Palace. Keep those institutions and keep those buildings and charge people to see them because you make the same money. Mm. Do you know, People go to see like the palace in Versailles. There's no fucking king in France anymore. Yeah, yeah. Let them into Buckingham Palace. Charge them. them. Char open the whole thing up and make it yeah. a massive tourist thing. Give them a wee fucking flat in Grenfell or somewhere like that. Let them all share a wee two bedroom in Grenfell. <laughs> see how they feel. They go down well, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? They're moving yeah. here. Do you know what I mean? Move them in. You know, a flat next to like a Windrush family. Um, and say, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And just like say, let them just, do you know, see what real life is like for people. You know, I just it wouldn't last too long. Not. Oh, what are you talking mm. about? She would, I don't think charge would never be out of the bookies. Um, <laughs> never, we just go, do you like one of them wee men just goes from the bookies to the pub? Yeah. Every time he makes a wee bit of money at the bookies, he'd go back to the pub yeah. and spend it. Do you know what I mean? Then he'd be like, I'm down to my last fiver. Put a wee flutter on. And then has to go home to Camilla with no money. <laughs> and she's worried. She's sitting there like, I imagine Camilla, who's sitting like, you know, like a leopard print top 
with leggings on and, and big fluffy slippers, smoking, watching TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's fucked. And she has to hide money in her handbag. You know, she's hide money in the lining of her handbag. So Charge can't get it to put it on the bookies. <laughs> I don't know. And then like William. That's a sitcom in itself. That's what? like a, that, like a fly on the wall like, mockumentary. Fuck, it's oh, Harry and Meghan. They're coming looking money. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And they, they, they turn the TV off and hide. Do you know what I mean? So that, like they can't to think they're out. That's a fucking brilliant <laughs> Can you imagine a mockumentary where they're just all working class? Just working class, the ro the, the royals. Mm. Here, ask the Windsors. With a Zed? Like a spray painted Zed at the end? Yeah, the Windsors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think. But that's even, even in their fucking name. Mm. It's the sex of, they're the sex of Coburg Goethe's that we changed it in the second, we changed it in the second world war, or the first world war because it was too German sounding. German, yeah, that's right. It's like, whenever like, you're almost like, where are you from? Yeah, but where are you really from? You're a black woman, you can't mm. obviously be from here. Unbelievable. And you don't think she's got a woman's tan, she's from London. Mm. Or, or she's been fucking closer to home than what she was. She's never been. She's never been to Nigeria. Leave her alone. That's what I always laughed about. You know, like during, um, like during lockdown, and like, you know, like Chinese people, and you're like, oh, he's from China. Like, no. That's sweet Danny fucking low. That's sweet Danny low from Donegal Pass. <laughs> Leave him the fuck alone. He's never been yeah. to China. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. He doesn't fucking what he call it. Doesn't 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 like Chinese food. He's mm. he's he's lived his whole life here. Yeah. He's fuck a off. Fuck off. Leave he loves Rangers. <laughs> fucking leave him alone. Do you know what I mean? Like all that shit. It was like that, if someone asked, someone of not your ethnicity answers the question, that's the answer. Mm. Where are you from? You know the falls. That's the answer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, hundred percent. I don't know. So they're, they're like, I just take it. Get rid of. I think put them in flats. Put them in flats and to earn their keep, make it a reality show. Hmm. You know, royals on a tenner, for example. Do you know, yeah. like they have to live on a tenner for the week. Plus, their faces are on a tenner. On the tenner, yeah. You so have to works both ways. You can only, yeah. You can't have any money. I was going to say, you have any money that your face is on? He's only got fifty p's at the moment, hasn't he? Does he? Fifty p has come out. It has to be profile, doesn't it? Like in big lugs. Yeah. You couldn't have like that's why it'll be like a fucking hexagon and then the one side of it'll be like a <laughs> hair, just maybe like two fifty piece stuck together. One big ear is coming out the side. The queen's nose, fucking king's ear. Is it coming out the side? No. No, I think get rid of them. Uh before we finish up, thank you very much for coming on. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for uh, having me. This has been you're like David, this is like the most chaotic. It has been gentle. fucking really chaotic, but in a good way. It's I been feel like fun that's my energy. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like it. It's, it's, been, <laughs> it's been good. It's my vibe. People will be making like family trees of where the <laughs> spider graphs, where the conversations like, go. Like your woman at a homeland. Like we're fucking <laughs> like, so, no, the, no, this was never resolved. This was never resolved. What happened with Tyson Fury? Like, yeah. um, <laughs> there'll be a group of people tomorrow and Donna Cloney just... With the word podcast and then just fucking spider graphs and them all working and smoking. Do you, like, or like a, an effigy of me. Three in the morning. An effigy of me. Do you like an, I don't know, with a Kaylee t-shirt or something. On. There's like a, you're like a, a gay fox but like a Kaylee t-shirt. Mariah Carey. Good Mariah Carey. Yeah, because you know what I mean. Yeah. Gay. A uh, wee bit of a confession before, I want to play a wee game before we wrap up. Yes. But a wee bit of a confession. I forgot to press record on the sound for the first five minutes. That's okay. So it was a good five minutes but well, and there's the fucking thing stopped too. Fucking rude. What do but you do? Is what it the fuck? Where, what, what, what are we at? Can you flick the camera back on and just press record and see what comes on? Maybe it's run out of memory, but we'll see how we get on. You're like my producer here. Thank you. Like yes, yeah, let it down. Like what's the What's the wee time set to the right of the the count up? Two o four. Oh, that's all the time we have left then. All oh, right, okay. I would imagine, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, so we, we don't even have time to play a game. We'll play a game Correct. next time you're down. We'll play so a game next time. Another day. fucking three, four weeks. But please, yes, uh, I'd love that. But yeah, thank you very much for coming on. I appreciate thank you it. For and uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas. I know you Merry Christmas. Really... Oh no, well, but this year, yes, 2022 is the year of Christmas Vienna, and that's it. Christmas, Christmas in Vienna. Christmas in Vienna, yeah. And my Christmas to you. And Thank you very much. The child coming down. Oh, I'm exciting. I know. Exciting. It'll be Can't good. Yeah. It'll be good. Fingers crossed, yeah. So um, this, is, this is the penultimate episode of the year. There'll obviously be a, we'll do we maybe end of year kind of wrap up of the whole year and new stories and talk about things like that maybe next week. I have no idea who the guest is going to be. Maybe Dave Elliott. So it should be fun. Be worth tuning in That'd for. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thanks very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Have a very Merry Christmas. Wish you and your family well. And if you get to spend it alone, um, send me a wee message and I'll, I'll send you a wee text and... 
uh, know that you're not alone. There's a thing Sarah Millican does every year too. I need to speed this up because we're running out of time. Yeah. Sarah Millican does a thing every year where you like, if you're on your own, you can join this hashtag and oh. chat to loads of people throughout the day on Twitter. So look out for that. It's very important. Brilliant. That's, I love that. Yeah. 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 Merry Christmas. See you next Merry week Christmas. for another episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.